Hi guys, welcome back. As you can see from the schedule, um, I've played a number of games since we last met. Uh, the last time you, we saw each other was the 4-2 win against Legia Warsaw. Uh, we played a number of cup games, a number of league games. Um, starting with a nice 6-0 win over Wolves. Um, Dybala got a hat-trick, Depay and Correa in that one. Uh, we then played Wolves again in the EFL Cup. Um, rotated the, the team quite considerably. We won that game 2-1. Uh, Mares got a brace in that one. Then we put five past Brighton, 5-1. Uh, Martial, Dybala, Correa and Barbosa got two. Pogba actually got sent off in that game as well. Uh, then we drew 2-2 away at Atletico Madrid in the Champions League. Uh, Dybala and Mares getting the goals for us. And Koke and Andre Silva for Atletico Madrid. It was a very close game actually. I'm quite happy with a point away from home. Uh, then a, a nice 4-0 win against Leicester. Uh, Depay got two and Mares got two. One all draw with Crystal Palace, that was a, a little bit disappointing. Uh, Riyad Mahrez, they actually took the lead, we got the equaliser. Um, so we're still unbeaten, thankfully. Uh, then we, we beat Ajax 7-2. Uh, Martial got one, Dybala got five goals. And Sanchez, Dybala just seems to be getting better and better. I, I really am running out of superlatives for him, he's fantastic. Uh, and then West Brom, we got another 1-1, one -one. we had a player sent off. Uh, they then took the lead. We managed to get an equaliser in the 87th minute, so we, we managed to stay unbeaten. Obviously, a little bit disappointed to not win the game, but as I said, we were down to 10 men, so not the end of the world. Then we beat Liverpool 5-2 in the EFL Cup fourth round. Uh, Martin Erdegaard got two. I, I, I rotated slightly. Erdegaard got two. Jimenez, Rashford and Depay. So in today's episode, you will see... Manchester City away and Ajax away. We'll have a quick look at the league table before we move into the first game. So as you can see, we have dropped down to second place. Um, obviously, Man City are the a team above us. We play them today, so if we manage to get three points, we will go back top of the league. We are unbeaten, as are City and as are West Ham, interestingly. Um, so if we win this game, obviously we will leapfrog City and go top of the league. Uh, I thought I'd bring the Ajax game because if we win this, there's a... A good chance we will qualify for the knockout stages. Obviously, we're three points ahead of them currently, but if we win the game, we'll go six points ahead with two games remaining. So I thought that was a good game to bring you. Um, and obviously, the City game is, is a good game to bring anybody. So um, without further ado, we'll get into the first game of the episode. I'll quickly show you how we're going to be lining up. Okay, so this is how we're going to line up today. Starting with the Gaul, goal, Rafael, Jimenez, Smalling and Shaw make up the back four. Renato Sanchez and Pogba in midfield, Gabriel Barbosa on the le on the right, Martial on the left, and Correa behind Dybala. On the bench we have Corchia, Willems, Fred, Bailey, Erdegaard, Depay, and Rashford. So let's get into this game. Hopefully we can start this episode off with a victory. So Aguero on the ball, first highlight of the game. Short intercepts, chance to run at the defence. Luke Shaw, he has the pace, tackled by Danilo though. Danilo to John Stones, back to Danilo, back to Claudio Bravo. Who gives the ball away. Pogba to Correa. Correa gets the shot away. Fantastic finish. What a start to this game. Very first shot of the match. And we're 1-0 up. So, Claudio Bravo with a kick. Very, very similar to how he would in real life. He's terrible. Correa with a shot. Into the corner. Lovely finish. I don't know about you guys, but I don't understand the decision from Pep Guardiola to move on Joe Hart and bring in Claudio Bravo. I think Joe Hart's twice the goalkeeper of Bravo. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Aguero on the ball now. Gives it to Ilkay Gundogan. All the way back to Otamendi. Otamendi to De Bruyne. Finds Griezmann. Griezmann skips past Raphael to Gundogan. Ilkay Gundogan to Sergio Aguero, and that's 1-1. One, one. There was always going to be a, a reaction from City. Griezmann took it past Raphael, into Gundogan. A little bit too much space there. I'm not sure why they, uh, they managed to get two against one when it wasn't a counter-attack. So it's Dinier with the throw-in. Renato Sanchez gets it away. It's Gundogan back to Dinier. Looks for the ball over the top for Aguero. Small and cut it out. It's Renato Sanchez now looking for Dybala. Paulo Dybala takes it past Otamendi, gets the shot away, and it was just wide. So it looks like it's just going to be half time. As you can see from the stats, we did dominate. Um, I'll quickly show you the stats. 
So yeah, we've had 10 shots to their 8. So uh, to be fair, it was 10 shots to 3. So the game is starting to turn around. But we have dominated the first half. So I'm not obviously not going to make any changes. Um, I'll tell them that I'm... I, um, I will say that there's more to come from them. Uh, hopefully that'll get a bit of a, a reaction. Everybody seems to be happy with that. Um, so we'll get into the second half. Hopefully we can get a goal to see us win this game. So it's Dinier with a throw-in. Gives it to Otamendi. Back to Dinier. So Sergio Aguero. It's Gundogan to De Bruyne. To Stones. Finds Kingsley Coleman. Shaw made the tackle. That's poo with that. Oh, Shaw's going to get sent off here. <sighs> Not what we wanted at all from this game. Still half an hour to go as well. Very poor decision making from Shaw there to put a tackle in. Without a 10 men, I'm going to have to obviously make a change. Um, I think I'm going to have to take a, try and take a point. I'm going to have to take Dybala off. Bring on Jetro Willems and just play without a striker. I'll put Correa on to attack. Move Barbosa to attack. So we've got a front three that are attacking. So hopefully we can... I mean, I'll take a point at this stage. Yeah, I think I probably would have taken a point away at City anyway. Um, but now, definitely, if we can manage to finish this game at 1-1, I will definitely be happy with that now that we're down to 10 men. So it's De Gea with a goal kick. A free kick even, not a goal kick. Stones heads it away. It's Renato Sanchez to Barbosa, to Correa, to Pogba. Pogba looks for the ball through to Martial. Into the box, Stones clears it away and City can counter here. It's Julian Brandt. I'm actually going to change the standard because we shouldn't be getting caught on the counter like this. So Brandt will run with it. Gets it into the box. It's Raheem Sterling and it's saved by De Gea. Cleared by Jimenez. How have they not scored there? Willems gets it clear. Danilo picks it up. Gives it... So it's arrived to Sterling now. Looks for Julian Brandt and that's the end of the highlight apparently. We got away with that one there. So Brandt with a free kick. This looks dangerous. Oof. I tell you what, we are hanging on by a thread. How that didn't go in, I don't know. Took a deflection off the wall and hit the post. So I'm going to make another change. We're 75 minutes into the game. Um, so I'm going to take off Martial for Depay. Um, and I'm going to take off Barbosa for Erdegaard as well. They're not having the best of games, are the wingers. Hopefully we can see this game out now. The point is not a bad result, given the fact that we're now down to 10 men. It's Otamendi with a free kick. There will be a highlight here. Gundogan gives it to De Bruyne. Back to Otamendi. Out wide to Dinier. Dinier looks for the ball over the top. Jimenez wins that. It's De Bruyne now. De Bruyne looks for Aguero. Pogba cuts it out. Pogba back to Jimenez. Jimenez out wide for Erdegaard. Erdegaard to Correa. Correa looks for the ball over to Memphis. It will be cut out by Stones. It's company now. Looks for Raheem Sterling. He's onside. And that is a poor, poor finish. Thankfully, Raheem Sterling cannot finish. So it's a corner kick here. Just under a minute to go. De Gea comes out and collects. Will there be a chance for another highlight? Or is it just going to be full time? De Gea kicks it long. There's no one there. Stones picks up the ball. Gives it to Otamendi. Otamendi out to Kingsley Coleman. Coleman to Sterling. Sterling finds De Bruyne. De Bruyne back to Raheem Sterling. To Aguero. Tackled by Jimenez who can clear it away. 10 seconds to go. I think that's just going to be it. The point is not a bad result now. I know I keep saying that. So there we go. Full time whistle goes. Finishes 1 1. I'm happy with that. We were down to 10 men. We did dominate the first half, but City dominated the second half. So I think a point is a fair result from that game. Not the end of the world. We stay second, but we also remain unbeaten. Um, so without further ado, we'll move into the next game of the episode against Ajax in the Champions League. Right guys, so I thought I'd just quickly show you the league table before we get into the Ajax game. Uh, we have dropped down to third behind City, but obviously uh, behind West Ham I should say. Two points behind City still obviously with the draw. Um, so I'm not too worried yet. There's plenty of time to obviously make that up. So I'm um, not too worried about that. So I'll quickly show you the team and we will get into the Ajax game. Right guys, this is how we are going to line up. As you can see, I've made a few changes. I just thought I'd rotate it a little bit. So we're starting with Butland in goal, Raphael, Bailey, Fosse, Mensah and Willems at the back four. 
Goretzka and Sanchez in midfield, Odegaard on the right, Memphis on the left, and Correa behind Rashford. On the bench we have Smalling, Shaw, Fred, Jimenez, Pogba, Barbosa and Dybala. So we'll get into this game, hopefully get a victory and see ourselves safely into the knockout round. So Cuesta is the header, it's Klassen now, all the way back to Onana, oh no not him again. <laughs> it's Willems to Memphis, through to Rashford, I did say it properly this time though, so see if that lasts. Tackled by Stefano Denswell, is a foul and it's a free kick and Denswell could be in trouble here. Is it going to be a card, is it going to be a warning? Gives him a talking to, just a warning. Memphis into the box. Fossi Mensa wins the header, it's cleared by Dykes. Renato Sanchez with a shot and it's 1-0 in the 25th minute. Very quiet first half, that was actually the first highlight, so it's a good start, 1-0. So Fossi Mensa went for the header, Dykes cleared it away. Correa with a pass to Renato Sanchez who took the shot, went through a group of people and fell into the bottom corner, 1-0. And that's it for the first half. <laughs> one highlight, one goal, not very much happened, um, so I'm not going to make any changes, we'll get into the second half and hopefully you'll see a little bit more. So Rafael with a throw into Rashford, cuts it back to Renato Sanchez, finds Angel Correa, back to Renato Sanchez, it's saved, Goretzka gets there and it is 2-0 to Manchester United. I thought that was his first goal, but obviously he has scored previously, can't remember when that was, um, but it is 2-0, hopefully that's uh, game over now. Correa was the pass to Sanchez, Sanchez or oh, Nana made the save and Goretzka finished it on the rebound and that is 2-0. So it's, uh, well the ball was looking for Wally, it's Fossi Mensa, won a ball over the top to Marcus Rashford. It's Rashford, gets the shot away, saved by Onana. Oh, it's Odegaard to Correa and Onana oh, will pick that up, I think Rashford would have been offside anyway. I think that's the first time I've seen Rashford, Rashford touch the ball. Corner here, Pena into the box, cleared away. Wallen, Will, Wallian, Wallen picks it up. One of them, can't tell if that's an IRL. Bailey gets it away. Cuesta to Pena. Pena looks for Mayoral, it's cleared by Fosu Mensa. Ramzalar now, Delort to Pena. Goretzka got in there, it's Veltman now. Rashford picks it up. Rashford with the ball through to Memphis, gives it to Correa. Correa finds Martin Erdegaard. Martin Erdekai, what a tackle that was from Cuesta. Delort on the ball now to Klassen. Klassen finds Pena to Mayoral. To Wallian. I think that's an eye. We're going with Wallian. Fossi meant it with a tackle. Wallian again. Wallian finds Pena. Pena cuts it across to Ramzalar. What a goal that was from Ajax. That was lovely football. Still 2 1 up. I'm not worried. Not yet. But that was a good goal, that. Wallian with the ball through to Pena. I thought for uh, thought he was going to take the shot, but cut it across. Bit of a sweaty goal, but I'm sure Ajax will take it. I'm going to make the first change. I'm going to take off. I'm going to actually move Rashford into the, the left wing role and bring Dybala on. Uh, I'm going to bring on Fred for Goretzka as well. He's running a bit low on match sharpness, so we'll just bring him on, give him 25 minutes. So Pena with the corner into the box. And it's gone right the way through to Delort, and Ajax are back on level terms here. Didn't see this coming. It was Penny with a corner. It went over the head of Correa. He probably should have won that, and Delort, with a thunderous strike, makes it 2 2. I'm going to go attacking because I'd like to win this game, and we've dominated, so I'm not happy that we've conceded twice. Willems now. Looks to Rashford, it's going to be another highlight by the looks of it. Correa to Fred. Fred finds Dybala. Can Dybala be the hero yet again? Dybala. Into the box and Onana makes the save. Is the highlight going to continue? Mayral hits it on. Fossi meant to intercept to Rafael. It's going to cut me off any second, I bet you. So that's Sanchez to Correa. Or is it? Cuesta heads it away, Correa nips it and gives it to Dybala. It's Paolo Dybala and that was very, very poor by his standards. Should have been doing better with that. I'm going to make the final change just before this highlight. Um, I'm going to bring on Luke Shaw for Willems. He's on a yellow card so I don't want him to get sent off. Willems, it's headed away by Veltman. Sanchez wins the header now, it's Dybala. 
Dybala looked for the ball out wide, but it's been cut out by Dam. It's Delort now, finds Wallian. Wallian to Mayoral. Mayoral to Klassen. Klassen to Delort. To Ramzalar. Back to Delort. Tackled by Bailey. Raphael gets it clear. Denswill wins the header. It's Correa now, out wide to Rashford. Rashford gets into the box. It's Paolo Dybala, and we have our lead again. 3-2. You bring him on and he always, always does the business. Rashford takes it nicely on his chest. Has just plainly has more pace than the defender into the box. Dybala's there and he doesn't miss them. 3-2. So Luke Shaw with a throw in. Gives it to Correa. Correa with the ball over to Rashford. Rashford into the box. Dybala's there. The same combination again. Rashford to Dybala. Dybala comes off the bench. Scores two goals. We have our two goal gap again. Game over. Correa with a lovely ball through to Rashford. Who again just had too much pace for the defender. Cuts it across once again. Dybala with a finish once again. 4-2. Shaw with a throw. It looks like the highlights are not over with yet. It's Rashford to Fred. To Renato Sanchez. Can Dybala get himself a hat trick? Denswill, well, he's in again. It's Paolo Dybala, and he has got a hat trick. This is unbelievable. Seven minute hat trick. 80 minutes, 84 minutes, and 87 minutes. He comes on as a sub, and he scores a hat trick. Only Paolo Dybala could do that. He's one on one with the keeper. The keeper just came running out and just made no attempt to save it whatsoever. Dybala just slots it home. 5 2. So Dybala takes the corner into the box. It goes all the way through. Sanchez picks it up, gets it, tries to get it into the box. Full time whistle goes. Ajax 2, Manchester United 5. Paulo Dybala sure once again. Two assists from Rashford, very impressed with his performance. Also two assists from Correa. Fairly good performance all around actually. I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed to concede two goals, but we won 5 2, so. It's not too bad. We'll have a quick look to see if we have been confirmed as qualifying just before we end this episode. There we go, guys. So we have qualified for the first knockout round of the Champions League. Great news. Still two games remaining. So that gives me a bit of room to play a few youngsters, give a, a bit of a rotation to the team. So really, really happy with that. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you next time.